Hey, what's up you guys? This is iPod John and I am back. I'll be doing two videos per week and this time I promise I'm actually going to do it. So today I'm going to show you guys how to install and use a software called Disk Aid. And all Disk Aid is a software that allows you to go into an iDevice to take out or put in files that you probably don't want to do on iTunes. So I'm going to show you guys how to take out some music files and I'm going to show you guys that with my old iPhone 3G. So let's get started and what you guys are going to want to do is download the file that I have in the link in the description below and yeah. So once you have all of that just open up the folder and let's start by installing. If you guys have Windows Vista or Windows 7 just right click and run as administrator if windows xp then you just have to double click so you guys are going to see the setup open common sense click next i accept next 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 install you guys are going to see that it's going to ask you to launch once the setup is finished do not launch it yet click finish now you guys are going to want to go into your firewall so that once you guys actually register the software it would not connect the software to the internet. So to do that you go under your start menu and from the start menu go under control panel to system and security and then firewall. It will then take you to the screen and click on advanced settings. From advanced settings you guys are going to go into outbound rules and what you guys want to do is go under new rule and you guys are going to make sure it stays under program click next and click on the browse and from browse it might take you somewhere else so what you guys are going to want to do is go under the my computer tab or whatever is there go in your c drive uh, you guys might have two program files. Go under the x86. So go in there and scroll down until you see DGDNA folder. Go in that folder, disk aid, and then you guys are going to want to click on the application file disk aid. Click open, click next, and you guys are going to want to make sure it says block the connection. That way no internet can go to the software and then just mess up everything. So click next after that. Doesn't really matter what this does. Click them all checked. Click next again. And you guys will just name it disk aid for no connection, whatever. Description optional. I'm just going to put my name finish and it closes by itself and that will be it. So after that you guys are going to want to go back into the folder that I provided with all, the, all of the um, <clears throat> files and you guys will see another folder that says LZ0. Open up that folder and double click on the key gen and this key gen does have some annoying audio sounds just you can mute that shit if you want to and you guys will be able to open up disk aid and you guys will see the please connect your device at that point you can just you can just connect it i have my iphone 3g connected to it so yep and then you guys will see all of this what you guys are going to want to do is go under disk aid click register and just copy and paste what's Ever is in the uh, key gen you can put it there click register and thank you it's been successfully registered so that's on how to fully install the full version of disk aid now I'm going to show you guys how to take out files so I'm going to show you guys how to take out some uh, audio files music files so I suggest that you guys make a folder on your desktop or wherever you guys want to put it and I'll just name it iPhone 3G music and yeah so you guys are gonna want to go over to copy to computer and a new window will come out and you guys will see 
what you want to copy, music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, all of that. You guys choose what you want to do. I just want to take out my music. And then it asks you, where do you want to copy it? You guys can copy it to your iTunes or to a folder. I prefer to a folder. So under a folder, click next, and it will ask you where is it, and another one will pop out to say to choose it. So my folder is under my desktop, and it's right there, iPhone 3G Music. Click OK, and it will then have two checks that says, would you want to organize your music files into albums, into the artist and then albums. So if you guys want, you can click on that. If not, then uncheck them, and then click next. And now you guys will see that it is beginning to copy all of the music files in the iDevice. Depending on how many music is in your iDevice, it could take a while. Alright, so you guys will see that the copying process has now ended. So, you guys are going to click OK. I'm just going to minimize and open up the folder and there you go. All of the audio files that were in your iDevice are now in here. But yeah, you guys, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like and subscribe my video. And um, yeah. So this is iPod John, you guys, and again, sorry that I haven't been doing any videos lately, but two videos a week, I'll let you guys know what day will that be on the next tutorial. So peace out, you guys. <laughs>